Hey guys, and welcome back to Contradiction. As always, I'm Demon593, and last time we made Emma cry. But, now that it is 9 o'clock, perhaps Ryan is available again. Were these boxes here before? I feel like these boxes were not here before. Makes me want to investigate the corridor. Okay, nothing in the corridor. Never mind. But these boxes. These boxes. Were they there before? Let's try the door on the right again. Alright, well, they finished up here. Ryan must be in the lounge. I've got some things to ask you, Ryan. Ask about a few more things, please. Five more things. So, about this doll burning. So tell me more about this doll burning. It's a symbolic ceremony we perform every few weeks on the court. Mm, What's yes. it about? It's about burning your old personality and finding a new one. A better one. Sure. So the dolls are... You. Symbolic. They represent you from the past. Each doll has a picture of the student as a child or a teenager. I did not see that uh, on the doll. And they burn the doll and symbolically destroy their old personality. It's quite simple but effective, I find. And why did that girl yes, yeah. shout? Because it's an emotional thing. She, she's quite clearly become very attached to her doll. They do spend the first month with them. We tell them mm. to take the doll everywhere with them before they actually go through the doll burning. Interesting. And I can't believe that's a good thing. Destroying your past. Of course it's a good thing, Inspector. We're all shackled to our past, particularly you by the sound of it, perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps we should make a doll of you, Inspector, and burn that. What do you think? Mm, no, thank you. You're probably right. I'm not sure it would do any good anyway. Mm, yes, indeed. Mm. Well. Alrighty then. Uh, what about the Atlas Autohypnosis? Can you tell me about autohypnosis? No. What would you like to know? Do you use it on the course? We dip into it occasionally, but uh, it's not a major feature of the course. I would say that, well, a minority of the students know how to use it, but the majority wouldn't know and have a clue. It's not a requirement of the course. No, not at all. We don't, we don't ask people to do things that uh... they're not comfortable with. There's no bribery, no coercion. Uh, we're thinking about phasing auto-hypnosis out. Of course you are. What's the reason for that? Uh, well, to be perfectly honest with you, Inspector, it doesn't actually work very well. Right, 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 right. Claims that's not a major. Students not coerced or bribed in any way. But. I haven't found anything yet. I didn't realize you were a musician. Oh, well, I'm not really a musician. I mean, I, I, I dabble a little bit. To be quite honest with you, I'm far more interested in collecting guitars. You're not in a band. Why? Uh, well, I, I did audition. I did audition a few years ago. Well, I say a few years ago, of course, I mean about 20 years ago. <laughs> Doesn't time fly? <laughs> sure. What band was that? Oh, I can't. Something stone. Blackstone. And they all called something stone. Hammerstone. That's it. And you still yeah, collect? Hammerstone. Um, I haven't bought a guitar for over a year. I feel I've moved on. Yes, interesting. Hasn't bought a new guitar for over a year. All right. What about this? I've been mugged. Do you know what this is? Well, I think it's a bag. <laughs> is it a bag, Inspector? I think for it's sure. a bag. Oh, yes, the costume shop, yes, we used to hire from them. For the course? Well, yes, for the course, at the end of each stage, we have a, a, a little party and we ask students to dress up or try acting out uh, being somebody new, their new selves, as it were. Mm. Could you explain mm. a bit more? Mm. New selves? Mm. Yes, the doll burning, you went over it. Of the course is learning how to act, how to be whoever you need to be in any given situation. Sure. I think you'd agree, Inspector, that business is about being the right person in the right 
situation at the right time. It, what he does, it, it, it helps them to detach themselves, mm -hmm, become yes. somebody new, pretend, you know, you know, that kind of thing. It's surprising what a little bit of cross-dressing could do for you, especially if you try it. <laughs> Not at this stage. Yeah, I'll go get a corset right now. Don't mind me. Party includes wearing costumes. Okay, how about his stunt? Dad's what do you stunt. Know about your father's money stealing stunt. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, yes, that was something that Dad decided to do uh, as part of the shock aspect of the course. Mm. But he went too far, you believe. <laughs> he usually does. And do you think it did have anything to do with Liam's death? Him killing himself? Uh, no, 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 what? no. Liam wasn't like that at all. I mean, that was just a simple. Unfortunate coincidence. I mean, Liam had his own problems, but he didn't have any problems with the money shock stunt. No. Money shock stunt. No. Okay. Oh, Emma's guilt is a new thing. What about Emma's guilt? Do you know about Emma what being do you guilty? Know about Emma Bowman criticizing Liam before his suicide? I was there. I witnessed it. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I know Emma blamed herself for his death. Hmm. Did she? Oh, Did she? upset and all of that, but, um, I, I wouldn't blame her, Inspector. I, I really don't think she'd have anything to do with it at all. You don't think? Liam was a very confident person, very outgoing, very strong individual, or so it seemed. But if people are free to do what they like, even something as irreversible as bumping themselves off. Oh, sad though that is, of course. <laughs> okay. Free to be free. Doesn't blame Emma for Liam's death. Since our course and bribed anyway. Alright. That's all for the moment. Thank you. Alright, alright, alright. What happens after an Atlas meeting? You also haven't asked Paul about Emma's guilt over Liam. Is there something I missed in here? What happens after an Atlas meeting? There's no magnifying glass in the room. So... Leave Atlas? All right. Oh. What about Emma's guilt? Do you think Emma's criticism of Liam on that last night led to his suicide? I doubt it helped. <laughs> Did you encourage Emma to criticize him? I didn't encourage Emma to do anything. I merely told her what we tell every student to do, to express themselves as they wanted. Sure. It would be out of order to criticize them after that, wouldn't it? However, I didn't expect her to criticize his birthmark, if that's what it was. That's a decision she took herself. So you didn't know her well? No. Mm. Not at all. Really? I believe this. I hardly knew Emma. Bop, 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 bop. This is this is where we get him. This is where we get him. Uh, bought a freedom necklace for a student. That was her, wasn't it? Uh -huh. It was an unwanted gift. She you said. You say you didn't know Emma. Uh, yet you bought her a freedom necklace. I don't remember saying anything about buying Emma a necklace. Well, you just so did. So you didn't buy her one. So you did buy her one. So that means you must have known her. And quite well, too. Stop making such a big thing about this, Inspector. Well, I can't do any contradiction. A few years. The clock is ticking. And I admit I have an embarrassing weakness for attractive women. I think we all do. It was a stupid mistake. But that's all it was. So you're saying you tried it on with her? <laughs> I didn't try it on. I bought her a necklace. I'm not aware that there's a law against buying presents, unless, of course, the Third Reich has been elected, 
while I was at a bridge party. No. Emma was old enough to make decisions for herself. And, as a matter of fact, she decided that she didn't want to be bothered with an old fool like me. Obviously. So nothing happened, no mistakes, nobody got that. All right. Okay. Thank you. Like father, like son. No surprises there. I wonder how many students Paul has tried it on with. Tried it on with? Only tried to date Emma. Didn't expect Emma to discuss Lane's birthmark. Alright. Thank you, Paul. What happens after Alice meet? I don't fucking know. A few more questions, if you don't mind. James would know anything about Emma and Liam. Of course not. I'm having trouble finding these contradictions here. I keep thinking this magnifying glass is a thing. The boxes are new. Took me a while to find that one. A flashlight. Never remember to buy one. <sighs> Aha! Now I can explore the back area of the. Is that a new thing? A red torch was found in a box of junk of Atlas. Brian, any reason why you have a flashlight in a box? A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. It isn't worth asking anybody about Thank the you. flashlight. Thank you. back later. But it is worth going to the outbuilding behind Rebecca's pub, and we can find the, the we can look through the dark area the outbuilding now that we have a flashlight. Ha ha! What do we have here? I can't read what that says. Oh, come on. You don't know where that's been. That flashlight could have been any- ooh, devil worshippers. Symbol again. Looks like someone's been trying to make a point. Well, all right then. Time to start asking people about the vandalized car. Start with Rebecca since we're here. Whose car is that? A couple more questions, if that's okay. Have you ever seen these? I mean, they were in your mm, building. Ryan's car got vandalized last year. His camera had been stolen, so I took pictures. God, whoever did it made a mess, didn't they? I'm sure did. But nobody was prosecuted for it. Not that I remember. The insurance paid out, though. Well, that's good. The insurance paid out, though. <coughs> Alrighty, then. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. I guess I will uh, start from the far. This, you know, the most, the least likely suspect, and mark our way over from there. Let's go with James. James, know anything about this? Of course not. Really? Oh, a few more questions, please. Thank you. Yeah. Do you know anything about this? Know anything about these? Nope. Thanks, James. So glad. Be back later on if that's okay. Uh, I knew it was coming. Just had to get it out of the way. 
Let's go to Paul's. What happened to your son's car? Ask me a couple more things, please. Do you know what these are? Yes, that's Ryan's car. Another toy he managed to ruin. <laughs> I don't think he ruined it. It was vandalized sometime last year. Mm, yes. Yeah, who did it? I don't believe anybody was ever prosecuted for it. So that seems to be everything, but everybody keeps saying, don't believe anybody was ever prosecuted for it. That doesn't mean that you don't know who it was. Come on, guys. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. <clears throat> we don't know if anybody was ever prosecuted for it. But, guess we'll find out here when we come to Emma and well, just Simon. Just a few questions, if you don't mind. What about the car? Do you know anything about these? Nope. Sorry. Well, all right then. Let's go ask Simon about them. Thank you. Probably be back later. Have you seen these before? Uh, no. Don't know the car. Really? You don't know Brian's car. Thank you. Probably be back later. All right. You go to Alice regularly? Let's go to the source then. And ask Ryan himself. Into the atrium. Into the office. Ask about a few more things, please. Ask you about your car. Do you know what uh, these are? Oh, yes. That's my old car. Uh, it was vandalized. Um... I took those for the insurance company. Where did you find those? At the pub. Uh, you know who did this? <laughs> yes. A girl called Lisa Blit. She was on the course, very strange girl. Mm. And why did she write the words devil worshippers all over your car? Well, she was a very strange girl. She had a lot of psychological problems. Uh, well, it's a good thing you have a background in psych child psychology. I mean, she... <laughs> She took a dislike to the cause for some particular reason. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. And um, she asked for a refund. I declined. And she decided to spray her disapproval all over my car. Mm. Odd thing to spray, isn't it, though? Devil worshippers? Well, she was a very odd girl, Inspector. Mm, uh, yes. Maybe she thought it was a way of getting back at us. I had no idea. <laughs> right. Did Rebecca know about it? Well, yes, she did, but I, was, I wasn't about to unleash Rebecca on her. She can be quite fierce sometimes, you know. And I mean, the girl wasn't vindictive. She had psychological problems. She lives in the village, actually. Uh, the run-down house. Oh, God. The the lane. Can't miss it. Really? Right. Thank you. Does that mean we're going to meet a new character? And have all of this to ask her? Oh, crap. Could that be where Lisa lives? Run-down house at the end of the lane. That's what Brian said, wasn't it? It was. Let's go check out. Hi, Lisa. Jake's here. Got a lot of questions to ask you. Quite a lot of questions. Is it Lisa? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. I wonder if I could ask you a few questions. Hmm, yes. What sort of incident? Murder. Death? I'd rather come in and discuss it if that's all right with you. Huh. I promise I won't take long. And I promise I won't be coming back every five minutes with more questions for you. I'll just go in here, yes? I have to go out in a minute. Oh, oh look, I, I can come back later. I might not be here. What did you want to ask? A lot of I questions. I just wanted to ask you, did you know Kay Vine? No. What about what? Liam? Well, I heard that you're familiar with Atlas, the uh, life skills training company. What do you want to know about Atlas? Everything. Well, I heard you reacted badly to it. Of course I reacted badly. So would anyone. Now why do you say that? Elaborate. Because they're devil worshippers. Yeah, you wrote that on his car. Devil worshippers. They're making demons appear. Hmm. They're tricking everybody. They're getting people to join up. Then they're putting demons inside them. Right. You can see them. You are see. You live right down the street from James. You and him uh 
Where could you see them? In the mirrors. At Atlas. Mm -hmm. Any mirror. You can't get rid of them. Right. They stay inside you. So, how did you get rid of them? An exorcism. I didn't. You still see them. I just don't look. I put all the lights on. I make sure it's all bright. Right. I put them on when I need to look in the mirror. If I make sure everything is bright, I just see myself without... The demons. Seeing the other person. Okay. <laughs> James is just like, what the fuck? She's like me. But older. It's like her eyes sink in. Mm hmm. She's all wrinkled. <laughs> She's dying. And then I realize I'm her. I'm not me anymore. Right. <gasps> But that's weird. I'm sorry, I, I have to go now. Yeah, the demon is wanting you to leave the I'm house, sorry. apparently. I'm sorry. You, you leave me in your own house? Shouldn't you usher me out? Shouldn't, shouldn't you usher me, be ushering me out of the house? Not running from your own house? Well, all right then. I'm a very fragile and disturbed person. Utterly convinced that Atlas are worshipping the devil. Yeah. How are Ryan and Paul going to get out of this one? What do we got here? Oh, Lisa's accusation. He's a blind claim that Atlas were devil worshippers. Let's go to the source. Back to Atlas. Are you devil worshippers? Why would she say such a thing? Even though this is where we got the information from, but we're gonna have more to ask him about such a thing. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Why? Has devil worship ever been part of the course, Ryan? <laughs> Am I correct in assuming that you have spoken to Lisa Blint? That is exactly where I just came from. She's been telling me all about the Atlas obsession with Satanism, Ryan. Then if you've met Lisa Blint, then you will have worked out for yourself that she has a very vivid imagination. Very true. She also has psychological problems, diagnosed psychological problems, as a matter of fact. So where did she get the idea that you lot were, um, devil worshippers? I really have no idea. The girl is insane. Mm. She's frightened of her own shadow, bless her. She actually thinks that demons are possessing her even now. Uh, yeah, I figured that one you out. You really can't trust a word she says. So Please. you are saying there has never been any devil worship at Atlas? I don't even know what devil worship is, Inspector. It's not something I particularly know anything uh -huh. about. I certainly don't recall anyone ever having worshipped the devil at Atlas. Contradiction! We even tried to help the poor girl by paying for some treatment, but she didn't want it. Uh -huh. It's not easy to offer someone help when they think that you're the problem. Uh, very much true. Doesn't know anything about devil worship. Where's my scrying mirror? Where's my scrying mirror? Used to have black mirror. Used to read about black magic and satanic rituals. So you stupid uh -huh. son of a bitch. So you used to read a lot about voodoo and satanic rituals, but you don't know anything about devil worship? Well, obviously. I just meant we don't worship the devil. Mm, We're not yes. devil worshippers here at Atlas, Inspector. Ridiculous. But the point is, Ryan, that you claim not to know anything about so what, it. So what, demon you were do you? With it when you were younger. Worship. Are you sure Beelzebub? none of that made its way onto the Atlas course? Azazel. And that Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything within that course? Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything other than her own imagination, Inspector. Look, we do use some techniques that some students find difficult, disturbing. We encourage them to see things differently, that's all. <laughs> and some people simply aren't up to that. Some people, like Lisa, uh, that's why we introduced the aptitude test. What's the aptitude test? This.
this aptitude test right here. We ask students to fill in an aptitude test, uh, medical history, psychological issues, that kind of thing, any medication that they have used in the past, any medication that they currently are using. So here, take a look. why would you let them into the course if they... Basically, it's just to try and make sure that we don't get another Lisa. Has it worked? Oh, have you done that well, since Lisa? So far, yes. Can I keep a copy of this? Mm. Okay. I wonder how much importance they actually give to this test. And what are they doing that's so disturbing anyway? Let's head on in and speak for Simon. A few more questions, please. Have you done the aptitude test? Did you do a test before you started at Atlas? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it was all just questions about... Uh, if I had any illnesses or mental health problems or stuff like that. Ah, yeah. Uh, they didn't actually ask for any proof, so I could have lied through your teeth on that one. Well, but they actually checked. Interesting. So the test is null and void. Thank you. Very interesting. Can I come back to Ryan with proof of that? Have you seen one of these before? Um. No, not not this one exactly, but uh, we had to fill something similar in on the first night at Atlas. One of those aptitude tests. First night at Atlas? Stuff like that. What do you mean, first night? You only said you went there once. Alright, uh, thank you. For the time being, thank you. I've only got three more people to ask that about. So let's go and ask Rebecca. Rebecca. R Rebecca. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Do you know anything about this? It's the aptitude test, isn't it, for Atlas? Mm hmm. What do you want to know? Everything. Do you know why it was introduced? I think they had some trouble with some unsuitable students. I suppose you have to be careful who you work with. Right. Oh, wait, I forgot to ask you about Lisa's accusation. Have you ever come across anyone interested in or involved with the occult? Ryan? As in black magic? No, why? Atlas don't use occult techniques or anything like that? Atlas? Not unless Ryan's got a secret he's not telling me about. Why, he's been talking? Just a line of inquiry. Okay, thanks. Okay, then. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Do you know anyone who is interested in or involved with devil worship? Have you met Lisa? Yes. Which Lisa are you talking about? Mad Lisa. Lives on her own, doesn't like mirrors. Yeah, yeah, I've met her. You think she's mad? If you can't look at yourself in the mirror without seeing ghosts, you've got problems, don't you think? I do believe so. How do you yes. know her? She lives on the street. Came to the farm for some eggs a couple of times. I'm talking to her once, that's all. And what did she tell you? Nothing much, except she thought the devil was after her. Hmm. What did you tell her? I told her the devil needs a good reason to be after you. <laughs> she was just like most people, really, blind to herself, except she's more extreme. That's all madness is, being blind to yourself. Well, if you keep staring into the fire, you'll be blind to everybody, to yourself at least, at some point. You wouldn't know about the aptitude test for Alice? Oh, that's all for the moment. Ah, Thank you. Hello. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Do you know about... Have you ever heard about there being devil worship at Atlas? Devil worship? No. Definitely not. Who said that? It's just something I heard. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right then. Simon, be time for you to break the case on, open, okay. since you've been to Atlas a number of times. When did you start worshipping the devil? What do you know about devil worship? Devil worship? Where? At Atlas. <laughs> Devil worship at Atlas. Nah, there's none of that. Damn. I also forgot about Paul. Okay, that's it. His that. entire existence slipped my mind here for a second, so... You could basically voice the devil. A more questions, if that's okay. So, what do you have to say? Well, let's go with the aptitude test first. Can you tell me a bit about this, please? Uh, it's the Atlas aptitude test. What do you want to know? What does it test? Exactly. It's a test uh, we introduced to make sure that any students didn't have any major personality problems, skeletons in the cupboard, so to speak. Mm, yes. We introduced it because we had a little bit of a problem with one of the students. Lisa. 
Yes. You are well informed. I do my best. And what do you think it was that disturbed her? I believe that the course proved to be too demanding for her. Ah. Uh, we discovered that she had one or two psychological problems and she couldn't handle it. Right. And did you change anything else on the course apart from introducing the uh, test? We increased the entrance age to 21. Well, wasn't much, but it's about the only thing we could do. Right. We didn't want another Lisa. We didn't want <laughs> no, no, nobody wants another Lisa. Sorry, good way. Nobody wants another Lisa. Leases are never, never good. Do you know anything about devil worship, Paul? I beg your pardon. Yeah. Devil worship? Uh, Satanism? Hail Satan, Beelzebub. Am I missing something here? I heard Atlas had elements of Satanism on the course. You were misinformed. Well, you were just saying a second ago that I was well informed. Now I'm misinformed? Which is it, Paul? So you've no interest in the occult? No, Inspector. I have no interest in the occult any more than I have interest in pool vaulting, cheese making, or snake charming. I would like to learn how to make cheese. Anything else you want to know that I'm not interested in? That's fine, thanks. (laughs) (sighs) You should call the chief for an update, son of a bitch. I hate when the game does that. Makes me have to call the chief. Ah. All right, chief. It's like ten o'clock now, almost. Make it interesting, Jack. Chief, I finally saw a bit of what goes on at Atlas. I walked in on a meeting. Very strange. There were several students sitting around a fire, taking it in turns to burn handmade woolen dolls. Yep. Satanism. Ryan had an explanation for it, as did Simon. He claimed it was all about burning your past or something. Actually, Simon told me something interesting. He said they also use auto hypnosis on the course. Oh, uh, what's that? Self hypnosis, hypnotizing yourself. Uh. Apparently, that may have been what disturbed Lisa so much. Mm. Is it dangerous? Well, not in theory. Nobody I've spoken to seems to think so. I suppose Probably it depends not. on your psychological state to begin with, but I'll look into it. Okay, mm. keep it up, Jax. Always do, Chief. Always do. You're very funny, very funny. Bye-bye. You're very funny, very funny. So... Auto-hypnosis. Impossibly hurt or damaged by hypnosis. Lisa couldn't handle the course techniques. So nobody has ever been affected by auto-hypnosis, except Lisa. Hypnosis wasn't the problem, Inspector. Lisa was the problem with Lisa. <laughs> True. That's why we introduced the test. But the hypnosis was the trigger, wasn't it? Lisa arrived on the course believing we were all devil worshippers. Mm. She was nuts to start with. We didn't make her like that. Well, as far as I can tell, Paul, you've had one student accuse you of devil worship and two others commit suicide. Some of your students aren't having a very good time on this course, are they? (laughs) Nonsense. Kate was enjoying every minute of it. She couldn't get enough of it. She was full of the joys of life. Bubbly, confident, flirty. With whom? You mean with whom? With whom? Pretty much everybody. Including me, as I remember. Well, I hear that you said that you only were... And uh, did you respond? I don't get into relationships. We with just went over this. You, you tried with Emma. Oh my God! How many contradictions? Just the mission that Kate flirted with him. There's no way Paul would have turned down an opportunity like that. Come on, where, where's the? Only oh, tried to date Emma. Avoids relationships with students. Oh, you fuck. fucking idiot. So you avoid relationships with students, except for Emma, who you tried to date. Oh, come on, Inspector. That was a long time ago. That was what last year. Ryan? Did you try to date her or not? Oh, don't be so ridiculous, Inspector. Kate was an exceptionally clever girl. She knew exactly what she wanted, and she knew how to get it. Mm. You mean that Kate approached you? It wouldn't surprise me if she was playing everyone in the group. Kate had more enemies than you'd think. Let me list of them. a very, very manipulative young woman. Hmm. And now it's 10 p.m. My word. 
time flies. It's getting late. I'm gonna have to pick up the pace if I'm gonna solve this by midnight. Right? But I'll wait for next time. See you guys.